What's going on guys? So in today's video, I'm going to show you three beginner calisthenic moves that anyone can learn. So let's do it. So this video is going to be in order of difficulty. So the first move, which I'm going to show you right now, is going to be the easiest and then it gets harder and harder uh, throughout the video. So let's start with the first one. So the first move or skill for beginners to learn is the frog stand. So to do that, this is what it'll look like. You put your hands flat on the ground, you put your legs on your elbows, and then just lean forward until your legs come off the ground. So with the frog stand, it's a very good beginning move to start learning how to balance on your hands. To break it down a bit, you want to make sure that your hands are completely flat on the ground. You can uh, claw your fingers down a little bit to get better grip. You really want to make sure that you're bending your elbows because that's where your knees or your legs are going to be resting on. So if your arms are straight, that's more of an advanced frog stand. So you really want to make sure you want to make sure that your arms are bent so you can rest your legs on your elbows. If you can't hold the frog stand at the beginning, you can just keep leaning forward, get your legs off, and then just go back on the ground and just do reps like that. And then see if you can hold it for a little bit longer every single time you try it until you can just lean forward and you can probably just hold the frog stand for it however long you really want to. So the second skill or move that I'm going to show you for beginners is going to be the elbow lever. So the elbow lever is much harder than the frog stand. It's going to take a bit more strength and more wrist flexibility. On top of that, you need a bit more balance. So what the elbow lever is going to look like, you're going to put your wrist completely backwards. So your fingers are going to be facing yourself, you're going to do the both your hands, and then you bend your arms, and then you jab your elbows right into your abs right here, and then just lean forward with your legs straight, and then you just come right off the ground. So with that elbow lever, it's going to be a similar progression to the uh, frog stand where you want to get into the position of the elbow lever where you can keep your legs on the ground and then just lean forward so you get a bit stronger with your wrist flexibility and strength. You keep leaning more forward and more forward until your legs come off the ground and then you just want to keep repeating that and work that for reps or you can hold it for as long as you can and then as you keep practicing your time is going to get up, or is going to go up, because you're going to get stronger in that position. So the third skill that I'm going to show you right now is going to be the L-sit. I'm going to use some parallettes because it makes it a little bit easier to see and makes it a little bit easier for me. <laughs> so well, most of the skills in this video, it actually helps to take off your shoes. When your legs are less heavy, it makes it a little bit easier. So with the L-sit, you're going to have your legs completely straight, and then you're going to put your hands right on your side, right to your side, and then from there you push up, and then you lift your legs up. So you look like a look like the letter L. That's probably why it's called the L-sit. So with some progressions for the L-sit, um, you're going to keep your legs on the ground, but you want to push with your arms completely locked out. So your arms are completely straight. You just want to hold that. Then from here, just lift one leg up. Switch with the other leg. You're constantly pressing down to keep your butt off the ground. And then from here, once you can hold one leg straight with the other one still on the ground. You can slowly move into a tucked L-sit, which is where your legs are bent. And then from here, it's going to be a little bit easier to get your legs off the ground because it's closer to your body, like this. And then from there, once you can get comfortable with the tucked L-sit, you keep one leg out and then you slowly stretch the other one out so you have a one leg L sit and then you want to get good at using both your legs of course so go back up oh, press back up legs bent 
and then stretch one leg out. So once you get comfortable and it gets easier to stretch one leg out with the other one tucked in, you'll probably be strong enough to go from here and then slowly straighten both your legs. And then you have the L-sit. So that was a pretty fast explanation of the progressions, but in reality it's going to take quite a while if you have no experience with calisthenics. The L-sit is quite hard of a skill, but it's a very it's a very good skill to start learning as a beginner because it makes a great foundation for future skills like the V-sit. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you give one of these skills a try, hopefully even all three, and maybe you'll fall in love with calisthenics like I did. So yeah, thank you for watching and peace out.